Round three, I'll be reviewing this brand new, it's an action uh, packed, kind of like a drama. This brand new movie just dropped on Netflix called The Violent Action. And this movie, it is from Japan. And this movie, it is based on a manga, which I had no idea about. But after I finished watching it, I'm like, whoa, would that explain why? Uh, I must say this movie, the way it was shot, some of the action scene, oh, it is like, it looks like literally manga has come to life when you watch this movie. It's really bring that manga action to life. But I don't think this is a Netflix made movie because this movie, it wasn't dubbed in English. So it was really hard to see with the, all the subtitle. Although I must say oh, the overall, this movie's acting is so good, especially from the center actress. I thought she was really good. Uh, and the story itself, it is really interesting that you see in this movie, this, uh, she's just a regular sweet looking college student by day. However, at night, she's a part-time assassin. She's about to face her toughest target yet. That is this movie center plot is basically in this movie, you see she is this assassin uh, who's going out and killing all these people. Like, oh my gosh, she kills a lot in this movie. And, uh, like there's a lot of blood and the way the action scene are shot in this movie, it is, it is really good work, honestly, when you watch this movie, especially people who like manga, which is a lot of people, they do like uh, reading manga and this movie, really, the director, you have to give him the credit, the way he shot, it literally looks like the manga has come to a life. That being said, uh, when you watch this movie, like as a, someone who doesn't know about manga or anything, you feel like, oh my God, this movie, it is very, all the action scenes, the way she was just flying, flipping and killing all these people. This movie does create this illusion, man. Like uh, it's a bridge between reality and uh, it looks like almost like cartoonish the way she was killing all these people, especially she's just a small, tiny person killing all these people, just flipping and uh, killing them with the gun, one shot killing. And uh, she kills a lot of people, like a lot of body count in this movie which did bother me when I was watching it. Uh, like as this normal person who doesn't know anything about the manga, I would say it will turn off some people when you watch it. Then again, as a movie itself based on a manga, this movie trying to please this audience, you know, who am I to say anything? As a movie, if you like the manga, you will really like this movie, how ambitious it looks. And uh, this actress with this pink, wig uh like the first act for this movie it's a li little hard to get in but once you go, go to the plot about this movie it is she's really sweet and uh i think this movie will be really enjoyed by who people who like a manga based movie again some of the actions say it is really brutal but same thing it's so cool it's really cool if i can watch john we can enjoy it why can i watch this one However, the villain for this movie, they do show up and I, I thought, yeah, a villain storyline is predictable, but same time makes sense. Uh, overall, this movie is really surprised me. I was like, whoa, uh, it's really live up to its name. And uh, I, I feel like people who read the manga, they will really enjoy it. I, I thought it was like, whoa, a lot for me personally, but I, I'm like, I don't watch so many violent movie. Like, but if I had to say about this movie, I think it will please all the people who read the manga. Action scenes are truly very enjoyable. And this overall, this movie does look great. And uh, as I was saying, the story itself is maybe it's not but deep, but I think the movie itself, people who like action movie, they will really enjoy this movie. And that's my thought on this movie. Let me know in the comment, what do you think about this movie? And if you enjoyed about this review, don't forget to share my other review on other many Japanese movies and show. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe. Until I see you next time, please take care.